previous block diagram just uh, sort of refreshing here so how is the array being initialized that is the first step right we define an array s256 it's basically a character array and after that what we do is for every element of the array we initialize si to i so you know given that this was the algorithm the array after this step would look like the one below in which 0 1 2 3 etc 255 would be there in the character array after this we'll run the ksa the ksa is going to use the secret key to scramble this array now the code for ksa though it's looking very complicated here we'll get into the coding part in the example and there it should be much more simpler the ksa is nothing but a simple loop in which we have two variables i and j and we use them to rearrange this array see the previous array which we got s256 consists of 0 1 2 etc 2 255 now we will try and jumble up this array you know using what using the secret key so this is the algorithm here of scrambling that array when we say swap it is that we are swapping both values let's say i is 1 and j is 2 then s1 and s2 will be swapped their positions would be changed we'll see all this very much in detail in the simulation so simply put we run i from 0 to 255 and for that we generate j given by that uh, statement j is equal to j plus si plus key i percent key len and that whole percent 256 so this is basically nothing but the modulus operator what it does is it gives the remainder i percent key len would actually give the remainder when i is divided by key len so that we always lie within that array all this would be clearer when we go into the programming the prga so the ksa has been scrambled and this is what is used to generate the prga once again this is the next step of scrambling we can visualize rc4 in this way first you have an identity array in which si is equal to i we start off with the ksa which uses a secret key to scramble this and then we use the prga to scramble this further so this is the algorithm for the prj which produces the key stream note that let's say we have a file containing 10 bytes then we need to generate 10 key stream bytes in order to encrypt that file so that for every key stream byte we have a corresponding plain text with which we can zor it so that's why the while output bytes loop so output bytes here basically uh, indicates the number of output bytes we require the algorithm though confusing at glance when we do the programming exercise should be clearer and that is i is equal to i plus 1 percent 256 j is equal to j plus si percent 256 swap si and sj and then we finally output s of si plus sj percent 256 so as you can see the programming construct is very simple but what i'm sure you know you cannot catch from this is why is he doing this why is this actually scrambling the array or what is the strength of this so unfortunately that is beyond the scope of such a small presentation i would request you to dive deeper into rc4 and read about why he is doing this and what is the strength of scrambling an array using these two techniques that is ksa and prga okay now encryption using rc4 summarizing we choose a secret key we run the ksa using the key to generate basically the first permuted array which we give to the prga to finally generate the key string now the amount of key stream bytes we generate would directly depend upon the number of bytes we want to encrypt it's actually equal to the number of bytes we want to encrypt once the key stream is generated we simply zor it with the data and finally we transmit this encrypted stream decryption is very simple the simple property is of the zor operator see a zor b is what we are doing where a is your plain text and b is your key stream so when we want to encrypt it what we do is a zor b now imagine what would happen if we zor b with this that is a zor b zor b it can be simply proved that a zor b zor b is nothing but a so what is the decryption logic for rc4 is that you take the encrypted byte and generate 
the key stream as we did in the previous case and zor the encrypted byte with the corresponding key stream and you will get back the original plain text right simple enough so now making of a rc4 file encryptor so what we will actually do as a programming exercise is to make a file encryptor using rc4 so how would it work we take a secret key to basically generate the rc4 key stream then we read the file and zor each byte of the file with the corresponding byte of the key stream we write this encrypted output into a file and then transmit it over any insecure channel note that a person can still change or you know try to tamper something but he would not have any knowledge of what he is changing or tampering right point is he cannot see your communication he may be able to hamper your communication now for the decryptor as you already mentioned because the property of zoring is that a or b or b is nothing but a so we once again use the same key secret key which we use for encryption generate the key stream now we open the encrypted file pick up each encrypted byte and zor it with the corresponding key stream generated using the ksi and prj once we zor them what we get back is the plain text which once we run it across the whole encrypted file we can store it in a separate file we'll look at this in the programming example well that's all folks uh, i'm sure that though most things were pretty intelligible some of the part might be quite confusing and i'm sure this would be cleared up when we go into the next video in which we will simulate the ksa for an array length of 10 thank you